Hello again, everyone. It is the Black Knight. Still here in my pajamas, the CEO in pajamas. I've kind of got a rhythm to this now. What I've been doing is I go in, grab a special vehicle, source of vehicle to put in my garage. And then I go from the garage in the Runer 2000 up to... The bunker, and then do a supply run from the bunker with the Runa 2000. Of me some kind, of, shares, boss? kind of been working. There are have been times I was wishing I was in an armored vehicle instead. I'll be perfectly honest. So there, there are some drawbacks to the whole thing. Now let's see what I'm taking out here. It's going to depend on is it a race one? Is this a bomb car? Is it something annoying? Come on, come on, come on down the elevator in the dark as we wait for word. You won't be able to drive this one out of there. It's heading offshore with some pretty nasty individuals, so it's going to need an airlift. Collect a heavy lift chopper and then collect the car. Okay. Go to the office. This is something I am prepared for, although... I'm not very good at it, but at least now I don't have to do anything tricksy as far as getting the heavy lift helicopter. Exit via vehicle. The Cargo Bob Jetsam. Yes. Let's all recall, I really suck flying this. To a spectacular spectacular degree. And the fact that I don't have someone manning a gun or something like that to where, you know, I could kill these people may make this nigh on to impossible. I don't think I can shoot, right? Can we do? Nope. We cannot shoot, although we do have a parachute. So we're going to have to test this thing's durability is what we're going to have to do. Let's okay, so it's straight off this way. And you know what? Let's do the time warp again. Now usually, these things are closer than they appear. It's like that objects in the rear view mirror thing. You know, it's closer than they appear. We got brought out there. We got to bring it down. Drop the hook. We drop the hook. Hook out. There we go. Okay, which one is the tires? One of the ones on this side. I'm guessing it's the purple one. have to really come down quick here. Yep, it's the purple one. Did not get it. Uh, shot to bits. Okay. Oh, we swamped it. Swim, not up, no, don't swim the other way. Come on, swim up. There we go. Finally got some kind of swim up action going. Okay. There may be a way of salvaging this. Where is the vehicle? Somewhere over there. Okay, so I have to get on the boat. Now the odds of this working are really, really low. But my thought is, get on the boat, kill everybody. 
Request a helicopter. Or swim back to shore. I should be able to board this puppy. Are you serious? It won't let me board the boat? What's this up? You stupid! There's not a whole lot I can do. Can I get up on the side of a barge? Just climb up on the side of it. Okay. We are in. We are in business here. Okay. Well, we can just do this. Okay. This is probably not. Fuck you, Betsy. You motherfucking. I didn't. I didn't want to climb up. I was trying just to jump up. That leaves me here. All right. What do you think? What we need... I don't really have a whole lot of good ideas here. I mean, without someone to, um... I thought someone to shoot them from the helicopter. Okay, this is admittedly a little bitter. But I can't really fire precisely with this either. Well, I'm only to die seven or eight times here. I don't. Doesn't look like there's a timer on this. Let's set for. Yeah, let's set for missiles. Try just target the ones in the boat opposite the tires. Right, that that reduced some of the resistance. Now we don't want to shoot them on that boat, but that one, yes. So now we can try. See, I don't know if I can do this well enough to strafe them. We can try it, though, without hitting the car. Yeah, see, that was some strafing. If I had a gunner, man, this would be easy. What I could do is land on the one where I've already cleared it, and then target them. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Could we, could we do this now? We do, if I blow him up with a missile, he's going to blow up the, uh, blow up the tires. Okay, well we destroyed that, but at least I know how to swim up now, I think. Oh, uh, there we go. Did so, I kind of did. Looks like there's only one guy left. Stupid bucket. What do you think? But now, Come get some. this is annoying. We have to lob something in here. 
fucking bunk. I got it. Get out of there. It's so naval. I think that's coming down on the other side. Stupid Back now! Yeah, on. Man down! Hit the floor! Asshole! Oh, this is gonna Everyone be Everyone on the ground! Stupid fuckhead! The dirt, asshole. I'm experimenting. That was in the water. Well, let's do this. Let's go to inventory. Asshole. Have some snacks. My health going up here. Asshole. There's some limitation on this. Come on, get my health up. Stupid fucking. Uh, it's you know more is better, right? Get as much as we can. Asshole. Now body armor. So, Stupid with full armor. Okay, FFF, okay. Come on. No. Stupid bucket! Wow, it took me down from full health and full Asshole. armor. Okay, let's do this. Ooh, ooh, I had a thought. Here's what we need, first of all. Yes, I could get another buzzer. But that might not work. Let's see. Weather, because security is a private matter. What can I do for you? Okay, let's let's wait on that. Don't hesitate to call back. Oh, now I've got a time to steal counter, so this isn't going to even work. Where the heck is? Well, the only way we're going to do this. Let's get to Pegasus. Let's just see if we can steal it with one gunner on there. Hello, this is Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help? We're going to call the cargo The aircraft is waiting for you at our nearest airfield. Oh, we great. trust you'll be happy, sir. And where is its near nearest airfield? Nowhere even remotely close. Are you serious? That crossed the map. So, we're pretty much done here. That's that's all there is to it. So now there's nothing but bitterness. I'm bitter. There's no question about it. Okay, let's get another another buzzard. If it's got to be nearby, kinda. I got three minutes here. If if I can't have it, they can't have. It. Okay. It's going to be just that simple. No way I can get a cargo bob over there in three minutes. The mission has failed. And I am bitter. 
This is a mission, again, this is one of those, it has to be a co-op mission. Say goodbye. Yep. Did you forget about your patent, Simeon? Yes. Completely and utterly. All right, well, we killed some. Okay, looks like that one got away from us. You think? If you want to take a pass at another vehicle, come back to the office and let's get moving. I got killed like four times. Do you have any concern for me whatsoever? No, no, you just think about you, don't you? How you doing? Great. Just great. It really isn't easy to see that bunker from the air. Oh, there it is. Yeah. All right, so it is, but that was right there. That was a gully. Coming down, because I land great. Boink. Yeah, there's a cargo bob out there somewhere, but I have no real use for it. All right, that was a fail. Let's see if the resupply will be a fail. If there's any upgrades. Can, can I afford any upgrades? Probably just barely. I don't have a lot of cash. Everybody's standing around because they're out of supplies already. Without the upgrades to this, the uh, to the production, this ain't worth it. You're doing entirely too much work just to make sixty grand. You could do this with basically one. One vehicle mission that goes okay. But this, you know, doing a certain amount of cell missions and all that is supposed to be how you unlock access to the vehicle missions and how you unlock access to, the, you know, some of the upgrades. Let's see, up by upgrades. Speed up your manufacturing and research times. Improve the overall your stock. Only your, your supplies to stretch further. I don't have a million bucks. I don't have six hundred thousand bucks. Can I do that? I'll be broke. I don't think we want to do that just yet because I'll be broke. I'll be broke in a half. So we're just gonna resupply. I mean, seventy-five thousand dollars for supplies is more than I, um, more than I made on the last thing. Bad actors are moving arms around the state. Take out their vehicles and salvage the hardware. We'll lend you a buggy to do it. I doesn't even have a gun, son. But I got the right vehicle for this. Why? Why did the glass break? I ran into it. Let's blizzard up. Okay, closest one. You don't have to get them all necessarily. Let's get some altitude. Where are... They're all on the opposite side of the map. Alright, let's go... It looks like they're moving south, so we'll go from from right to left, and they should come towards us. So we can get over this mountain. Let's see, the gun's still selected? Let's select this. Okay, one missile per truck, basically. Until you find the one with the supplies. Then you land someplace, get an armored vehicle going, kill all the people protecting it. Because there will be people on the ground. But you don't want, I don't think, want to launch a missile at because if you blow up the supplies, you're doomed. And that would be a twofer on this one. I already took out the Tyrus. Thing. If I can't have it, you can't have it.
somewhere along the line, when I don't have basically, you know, 15 or 20 minutes or a half an hour, an hour even, to play, when I can say it's going to be two or three hours here, we're going to rock this out. I have to gather some of my crew up and head out to do some fangs. Pop this up over the rise. Another rise. I thought they were all coming down this way. And somewhere here. It's that white thing up right there. Let's bring it down. That's the track. Oh, we need a lot of time. What happened? You've got to be kidding me. I went to tap fire the missile and it dumped me out of the darn worst episode ever okay CEO vehicles have to wait a full minute well I got 26 minutes I'm kind of trapped here so I go tap the fire key and then get this let's do the time warp again I'm just I'm just running to get rid of the stress you're not gonna believe this is that coming right at me is that just an optical illusion it's an optical delusion great great just an optical delusion never mind Keeps changing my default pistola. Is there a reason I can't change this gun? There we go. Give me a helicopter. Now. Okay, what we're going to try to do is not suck this time and hit the wrong button. Hit the keyboard. It must have bumped something. Just There you go. That's how you do it. Okay, what's the closest one now? Don't drop on me, frame rate. Twenty-three minutes. Should be. We should be able to pull this off in twenty-three minutes, right? With a buzzard, I mean, you know, with a buzzard, we should be able to do this. If I don't do something stupid like jump out of the helicopter at low altitude. Okay, let's. Where are we? Let's cut. Let's cut to the. Let's go far right. As it says, it's the right one. That mistake may have been fatal. I mean, let's be honest. What I'm really hoping here is that it's basically just story three and the third one's the charm. It's not pre-selected where you might have to blow up all the trucks. Oh, that's a little close.
Thank goodness I'm basically immortal and have an unlimited supply of free helicopters. That's like real life. Ha <laughs> ha. No, but if this game were like if this game were like real life, would it be fun doing this? No, no, really it wouldn't. Okay, we're coming up on it. Okay, we pissed people off though. Let's road keep keep rolling. Towards the next one. We'll Are we coming up on another one close? Down in here. Keep at it. Okay, well this is bad. Still, 20 minutes. And as long as nobody shows up with the Hydra, we should be okay, right? It's the CEO in pajamas. One of those days when nothing seems to work. I wonder what happens if you get if you if you steal somebody else's supplies. Do you get to keep them for your own bunker, or if you don't have a bunker, is it just cash? Let's get a little altitude. Come on. These two, I'm hoping, are not just in line with each other, but they're actually relatively close together. Just keep rolling here. Can't be that far out. Let's go around the, the mountain instead of over it. Come in on them from behind. Now, these are all trucks, you wonder, the ones that are empty. Are they bad guy trucks that were empty, or are they just a guy who had just finished delivering like fish or something, yeah. Fire one. Target down, grab the supplies. It's not a bad landing zone. Get away from the Do we have any guys up here? Give me the fast pistol. There are people coming. What is happening? I'm being run over by NPCs. <laughs> Grab the supplies! Okay, this was perhaps not a bad idea. Can we get back to our helicopter? Now I'm tempted to try and take... Jink a little, jink a little, jink a little, jink a little, get in the helicopter. Kill it in the helicopter. Okay, well, there are a lot of people around it now. But it's over, I have the high ground or something. Right. That's the only bad guy left? More will be coming. Come on. Get in your helicopter. Let's go! The bunker's right here. I could have walked. I didn't realize it was that close. Can we land the helicopter?
Good enough. The supplies were delivered. So we had some success. It was awkward success. Awkward, clumsy success. Nice work. Your technicians are already breaking that down. Are they having a breakdown? What's that? So we still need the equipment upgrade. I mean, we need a good two million to get this place really rocking and rolling and successful. Can we do two resupply runs in a row? Is it possible? All you gotta do is pick the supplies and bring them to your bunker. And maybe look out for trouble along the way. Well, there's my helicopter. Which has hopefully been refreshed. Although, where is, where is this location? Across the map, all the way over there. You know, something's telling me not to take the helicopter here. Something's telling me I need, like, a Karuma. Because I'm going to have to kill everything that's there, and I can... If I could just aim at stuff. Yes, I should be able to pelt them my missiles, but I don't want to blow up the supply. You need something, huh? One of your rides? Let me know. Give me the Karuma. I'll bring it by. He's gonna bring it by. Hey, how you doing? He's gonna bring it by. Well, while you're doing that, I'm gonna have a snack. And some body armor. Because that's how it kind of goes around here. You sneak your snacks and your body. Are you nothing like some M&Ms? Oh, P's and Q's? Yeah, yeah, mind your P's and Q's. Mind all of them. And some whatevers and some whatevers. And I don't have a beer because it's just that stressful a day. Close enough. Just get me in my bulletproof room. And now there's an interesting problem with the bulletproof room. Not having to do with missions. Missions, no problem. Against NPCs, you're great here. The problem is, is that now they've introduced, uh, if you have your all your stuff to upgrade your weapons, you can set up a clip with full metal jacketed rounds. Now, a full metal jacketed round, in this game apparently, will blow the windows clean out of the Karuma. So it's like having a regular car. I don't know if it blows through the doors, but it definitely blows through the windows. And you get somebody with, a, with a, an automatic weapon with FMJs, baby, and I don't mean the car. I wonder if that's why they called it an FMJ, full metal jacket with the, the, the Ford, the Vapid FMJ there. I know it was supposed to be like off the Ford GT. I wonder if it's all related. So, but yeah, full metal jackets will go right through the windows of this car. So against players, this car has been severely degraded. Now, I mean, with the Duke of Death, it's got no windows. So if they get through the window, you're you're, you're through. I don't know if it'll affect the armor of the, uh, the Duke of Death from the side. You know? And in the Insurgent, its windows are normal, so it doesn't have the, the bulletproof windows. So it's, it's only really affecting the Karuma, maybe some of the, maybe the APC, something like that. In addition to that, the heavy sniper rifle can now be modified to have explosive rounds. So, I mean, one heavy sniper blast to this thing, it's all over. If they've got the explosive rounds. So you're driving a kind of a regular crew at this point. Except for the fact that the NPCs that we have to fight uh, in the game to do these missions don't have any of these weapons. So it's perfectly legit to go and do what I'm doing right now, which is to drive this car across the map. Zip on down. 
shoot a bunch of people, hopefully, with my, my automatic pistol through windows that aren't blown up. Which, yeah, don't think about that too much either. That's right up there with the, uh, the unlimited lives and uh, unlimited helicopters. But, I mean, you know, seriously, we, we don't want this game to be, like, you know, realistic. We want it to be ridiculously fun and silly. And that's what it is, folks. It's a fun, silly game. And that's why you shouldn't, you know, take your... Ooh, here we get we crashed into somebody. But we're in an armored car. These people all swear entirely too much. Don't they know YouTube's rules and regulations that count on swearing? This was a too bad drive. Okay. There's your entrance. We, uh... Oh, thank you for letting me in. I'm going to shoot a bunch of people, I think. All we have to do is pick the stuff up. It's that easy, right? Is it up the hill and over? The ammo will be there? Oh. It's drive the old van time! Oh, great! They just grab the slow, rusty old van. Somebody hasn't been servicing their vehicle. He says, get them back to the bunker and we're done. So I've got an extra slow. Is this a Yugo? A Yugo classic? A Yugo classic? They're like this, like the, uh... Now, the interesting question will be, are they going to send people after me, number one? Like NPCs, because now it's a whole other game. Are they just going to count on the global signal to bring people to destroy me? Well, I'm now tagged. Anybody who wants to can pretty much just wipe me with half a dozen different things. An oppressor bike, an APC, a Ruiner 2000, a buzzard. Pretty much, or they can just drive up next to me and shoot me in the head. I mean, there's really, I'm pretty vulnerable here. But it does seem to be a pleasant night. And everyone seems to be minding their... I've hardly seen anybody. So, I mean, maybe everybody minding their own business. Trying to do... The, literally, mind their own business. Do their own jobs. Make their own money. Supply their own shops. I'm just driving along in a, an old slow van. It's a little bit rusty. Maybe he isn't even slowed down. Maybe it's just rusty. It's got the rusty skin on it, so he's saying it's not maintained. So this doesn't feel significantly slower than the, you know, when I drive the scoop mobile. It's got side pipes. Why do people just turn at you? I mean, it, you, you would not see that in normal life either. It's, I guess, more rock star logic, as they would say over... It's just the rock star logic. Is that that Saints fan? I think so. Either him or Chaotic. One of the two. Rock star logic series. And pretty much he's probably covered all of that. And I already carry kind of a, a text thing in all my descriptions. You know, hey, I could have mentioned one of these five guys who I normally reference. Just driving along on, on a Tuesday night. I wonder if it's Tuesday in the Do they have that game? Is it Tuesday, Monday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, they don't even... Yeah, I never really have noticed. It's Tuesday here, folks. But so far, I'm actually starting to feel slightly encouraged that we might get to keep these supplies here. You know, there's nothing... No werewolves jumping out of the woodwork here to eat the van. Zip-dee-doo, zip-dee-doo. We're maintaining speed, and we're almost out to the Pacific Coast Highway. Right? Mm -hmm. 
C-H. I think, I think actually he turned into me or she turned into me. That wasn't my fault. Come on. If I could make it to the bunker. To the one I keep out on the coast. If I could make it to the bunker. I'd get a small amount of supplies that will make me a small amount of stuff to sell. Dee -doo 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 -doo. Look at this, folks. How do you drive it off into the ocean? Come on. Woo! Get to drive it in. Probably don't get to keep the van. Though. That would have been worthy, you know. The supplies were delivered. Good work. That's what these labs run on. How many do we need, you think? If we do a couple more, we might get this thing fully supplied. In which, I mean, the last time I went from fully supplied, it was about a $67,000 run, but... This would be a little bit more than fully supplied because they used up the supplies a couple times. How do we want to do this next one? Click tender, not enter tender. Please supply. Steel supplies. Confirm. And you know, for the last one, I might just wait. Gets, if it gets down to like 20 grand to. I might just, you know. Our readings indicate a large stockpile of weapons on a cargo ship on Elysian Island. You'll encounter foreign agents, so you might want to go quietly, but anything you find is yours. On Elysian Island. Can I drive there? Yep. Okay. It's on a cargo ship, which means I'll have to swim. But. I think the crew is the right method here again. And I think the time warp would be a good thing to do. Okay, as we get into town, we'll kick the recording back up here just because we're in town. In a public session. Anything can happen. Anything wild and woolly and crazy. But I'm, I'm not getting that vibe tonight. It's a good thing. Now, the reason I'm doing cell missions, like I said, I don't know if I mentioned this before, I may have. But I'm repeating myself, but I only will have this. It's been a long day. Um, and there's probably been some head injuries like that, you know? But the, um, but the main reason I'm doing, you know, trying to do, you know, supply sales is that you have to do a certain amount of that, a certain amount of money or a certain amount of sales. I'm not sure which, probably dollar-based, otherwise you can just do a whole bunch of really cheap sales. to find out what the deal is on it. How many, it must be something to do with I would think they'd go dollar amount. I'll we'll have to look that up. Let me get back to the bunker. Go so in my way. So to be able to do the special vehicle missions of the new special vehicle missions, unlock them to get the discount prices, which you really want to do that because they're spectacularly expensive if you want any of these vehicles. Uh, you need to do those missions. And I'm not really hot to get any of them, except maybe the bike. I mean, the oppressor is street hot. Guy, and that looks like it'd be a lot of fun to wheel around on. But. Yeah, I mean, they're all nice and they're all fun. But I mean, there's just nothing you know, that's really calling to me that I don't have a tool to use already. Like, I don't have the Oppressor, but I do have the Ruiner. I mean, I did spend my money on the Ruiner 2000, which you can get similar effect from, I think. Not identical effect, but similar effect. If you really need something that's very mobile, can jump through the air, glide around, and then shoot stuff with missiles, I got that. Maybe not as well as the rocket-powered bike, but, you know, it probably protects me a little bit better, too. So there's some trade-offs. Okay. What are, we, what are we using here? Machine now. We want the, uh... That AP. I've been fond of the AP, is the way. And it does seem to have a little bit of a suppressive 
kind of effect on it. So maybe you can snipe some of these people from the car. All right, it's about to go down. When that deal going down, and you gotta take your stand. Do 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 do. No matter. Oh, the deer. They have to go on board. Well, maybe not. A low impact operation is key. Try to slip out and without making too much noise. Oh, you think really? Where's the stuff? Just slipping out. Slipping out. Trying to sneak. Equipment added. Combat pistol suppressor. All right, let's go. Let's go here. Combat pistol with a suppressor. Oh, great. They're attack helicopters? Are you serious? Missed it. Now. I'm surrounded. I definitely need more bullets. I'm on fire. Excuse me. Okay, somebody got me. Now, where, do I, where does that put me now? Okay, out here where I could probably use the Karuma, really. Let's try that. Karuma! Close the door, fool! Got somebody. See, this is why I said the Karuma. You know, it's just so useful. When you completely blown a stealth operation. I think I think I took out his gunner, so. All he can do is fly. I wonder if this is like there's a limited number of guys and I can kill them all or... I'm not seeing anybody else up there. The helicopter's not shooting at me anymore. Let's go see if we can find the stuff. We got something. Where's the map? I hear people talking. Map me. We got someone. We got we got hostiles. We got fewer hostiles. Where is the darn thing? Let's get on top. So somewhere up here. We so it's, that question mark was like somewhere up here.
it crash landed. Is that it down there? We have to get down. Don't know. Ladders. or something. What does this even look like? I'm assuming it'll be a little green arrow. Oh, well, thanks! That's about... Must be up top. Or right there? No. That's above. Okay, where is, where is the bad guy? We'll suppress a fire. It would be all the way at the freaking top of everything, right? Okay, now we just have to get down. Uh, 19 minutes remaining, and the global signal's about to go off. Die! Die? Who wants me to die? Where is this guy? Okay, so I had some video issues there, but we got back. We got all those basically driving through town with guys in, you know, dubstitutes chasing you. Black dubstitutes that I can't keep. So, we're going to continue on here. One more resupply run. One more. And, oh, look, it's going down. Maybe we will have to do more than one resupply run because they're using the stuff. There will come a point when I'll be all like, that's enough. The lab thinks there's some mileage in breaking down a technical pickup with a minigun on the back. There's a high screw with the requisite. You've just got to get it off of them. I think probably a minigun on the back means the Karuma. Go to Del Perro Beach. That's pretty close. Your car is in my way. Yeah, Del that's why I picked this. It'd be close to Del Perro. That's my base of operations, Del Perro. This could be a this could be a luck out kind of thing. Yeah, let's just call that that gap in time the time warp again. It really wasn't that interesting to me anyway. And basically, I'm not sure I might have just gone to do the time warp again and then hit the wrong button or bump something. Or, I don't know. or sometimes traps just stops. At least it seems to. Or I'm doing something to make it stop. Or Well, there were issues. That's all we're going to say is there were issues. It's like it's like right next to my um my MC. You guys are gonna come into my hood. Oh, there you go. Technical. Yeah, back up a little bit for him. We'll loop around. Attack! 
Okay, where's the other guys? Where's the way in here? We need to we can drive in here, I think. Oh, there you are. We got a man to down. I don't think that's the, the goal here. There's a lot more guys than I thought there were. Uh -huh. Let's paint them with bullets. What blew up? Well, that could be unfortunate for somebody coming in on me. Okay, we don't have far to drive here. But we do have a public uh, public lobby, so that could make things interesting. We have no one on the back of the gun. So we're just in a truck. All right, we're just gonna haul ass here. Gotta haul ass, gotta haul ass back. And watch yourself. And they've got, they want their supplies back, and I'm not doing that for room. All right, and it's not a very fast truck. And this is where having another person would be really helpful. Trying to get through traffic while you're being pelted by machine gun bullets. Uh, hoping this is an armored truck of some nature. You know, this is like some kind of updated dealio. If we could get some speed going. We could just get some speed out of this truck. Ah, this is where I need Pazesco. He'd love to be on the back of this thing gunning. Alright, I'm taking some direct hits there, and it seems like it's doing okay for itself. So this must be upgraded somehow, some kind of special kind of deal. I don't know how well we're, we're pulling away from the helicopters at this point. There's not really a lot of places to oh that was that was perhaps critical. Come on. That yeah, lost all my momentum there. But the bunker's right there. They're gonna follow me right up to the bunker? Okay, come on. Do it. Bring it in. Yeah, that must be like almost an armored Karuma truck with a gun on it, which would yeah, be nice to have, you know. I wonder if that's what, what the new uh, upgradable thing is going to be. You delivered supplies. We had 100% for supplies. Well done. Now the real work can get started in the lab. Let's go see. Are we at 100% for supplies? Just about! I would call that 100. Yeah, supply success rate. Well, that's interesting. We're at 100% success. That doesn't seem right. Cell success. Units manufactured 14. Research nothing. Well... On that note, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Black Knight. The tired Black Knight. Have a great night. That's interesting. The buzzards is right. They put it back on the beach for me. No, I didn't. Know it's a little beat up. 
Wait, I did leave it here. Is that where I... Uh, a little bit... A little bit wounded there. But... I'm only gonna go and invade the airbase. This thing is starting to die out on me. Like it, it's, you can hear it coughing and spitting and sputtering. All I'm doing now is this, this might end up being like a bonus. Whoa! It kind of, I kind of lost power there. Yeah. I think I got full health back, you know. CEO vehicles. And I'm mad. Fine. I could do this with a motorcycle. I mean, I've done it before. Basically, the, the objectives, though, are steal a vehicle from the, uh, from the airbase, fall 100 meters and survive, And, you know, that's the, and the other thing is what, do a bike race. So, I figure I get a buzzard. Fly over the airbase. Turn on, of course, you know, get to call up Lester and get the cops turn a blind eye. Jump out of the thing. Steal an airplane. If for some reason that doesn't work and gives me the achievement, I'll jump out of the airplane. Land somewhere random and remote, and um, then you know, pull up uh, the Hama West Mami and do it on bikes. What the heck, right? You get everything 25k in one shot. Yeah, be end up by the time you turn the blind eye and all this, then it's only like 20k. But man, close enough. Five, four, three, two. How much do you want to bet? Drops it right in the middle of the street. Yeah, I would have won that one. Excuse me, CEO in pajamas. I like my magically appearing, suddenly materializing helicopters to appear right in your way. That's how I like it. Nope, wrong one. Nope, that wasn't what we wanted. Contact. Definitely not Long John Teabag, although he's the same guy. Pretty sure. Long John Teabag, number one super guy. I'm guessing you don't want a back rub. How can I help? How, how do you know? There you go. Ready? Get this up as high as we can. Find ourselves over. That's where they park the. Whee! They have to fall a hundred meters and survive. Surviving is key. Excuse me, I just lost my helicopter. I'm sure you'll understand. Well, I need to borrow this. Most awkward landing ever. Hey, how you doing? It's me, Black Knight. Okay, so we got the fall and survive. No one's shooting me yet. Objective complete, steal the vehicle from the military base. Whee! And now we don't really care. We need to get some altitude. Get away from the military base if I realize it. And making sure. 
sure we're not over the water. Let's watch it go in. And no one really cares because the cops are still turning a blind eye. Did it, like, completely vaporize itself? Nope, up there it is. Let's go look at our wreckage. Oh, this just for silly daily objectives. Well, I'll tell you, it was a nice plane. Pretty cooked. Now, watch this. All you have to do is participate in a bite race. Jobs, play job, bookmark. Races, Bahama West, Mamma Mia. We love the Bahama West, Mamma Mia. Ooh, the Bahama West, Mamma Day, Bahama Mia, Bahama Mia, Bahama Mia, Bahama Mia, Bahama Mia, Bahama Mia. Watch how beautiful this is going to work out. And I can say it for two laps and then milk it for the eight minutes or whatever to get more money. But for right now, we're just illustrating a point. If I want to start doing that, I can do that easily. We could use the BF400, but let's, let's go with what we always go with. Our favorite bike, Shotaro, which for this track, really, it is the best bike. It's, this is nothing but winding turns and never seeing the, the top, full top speed. I'm revving it up with my mind. Revving it up with my mind. This bike is simply wonderful. Again, the only thing we have, obviously, we're racing alone, so we can't lose. The idea is we have to participate. It's a participation trophy, really. That's a good thing, because, you know, if you had to, like, win a race, boy, that would take all day sometimes. Like, if you had to win it with other people involved, you know. They just want you to do this stuff. They want you to do this, do that, try to you know, get every aspect of the game, I guess. You can't blame them. I mean, you know, these programmers work for them. Long hours trying to invent this stuff, and then people ignore it, you know. And sometimes it's things that people have really probably requested. Like, how about you tiny racers? People have wanted, like, a, a GTA 1 feeling kind of thing forever. And they said, hey, we could do this. And then you, you try it, and it's just not as much fun as the original. But that's just my opinion, you know. I think it was beautifully done, and I think it looks nice, but just there's some... Something about it that makes it unfun, and I don't know. That it's, you have to get into game theory and psychology and different things. Probably the fact that if you do even, even the slightest mistake, you die. Probably is what does it. If you turn off the the kill uh, last place thing and let people get caught up, people like coming from behind. I'm gonna let that hang there. Okay. And we're waiting. And we're waiting. We're just waiting. Waiting and waiting and waiting and a time. Let's do the time warp. Oh, wait a minute now. That should have counted. Did, did they mean a bicycle race? When they say a bike race? Move your beak. I don't blame you. Still, we could probably do that. I don't know. Let's do this. Secure serve vehicles. Buzzer. Where did the buzzer ride? It looks like it's right here. It's beneath. They put it under the bridge. They put that under the bridge. Are you serious? Goodness me, oh my own. Alright, well, we're gonna try to do this fall challenge here. I have to really lean forward on this drain. Get out from under the bridge. Okay. 
We don't really care about the the, uh, the overall damage rating on this because we're just gonna take it up as high as we can. <coughs> I wonder if that's the maximum height of a buzzard. Follow the longest distance with a parachute before opening. We got six minutes here. I mean, you know. Of course, at any time. Let's see when we, we hit max altitude. This may have some side effects. That the police may be right on top of me. From the instant we do this. Okay, you think we're more than 2,000 feet up? Or meters up? 6,000 feet up. I think we're pretty high. Let's do the time warp again. Yeah, let's try this. Okay, so we've got third. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna get. Oh, no, we don't have third. Somebody else has gone pretty far. And the ground is coming up quickly. We'll get something for having tried, I think. We're gonna have to really kind of do this quite dangerously. I'm not sure a buzzard can get as high as those other two guys. I mean, that that might be they might be pretty as far up that you can go. Oh dear, can we even try and get there? We're running out of ground here, folks. We've got to try. Hey, oh, I couldn't do it. We weren't going to get 200 out of that anyway. All right, let's try and do the bike race. Luckily enough, though. I landed right next to my garage, so I can hide from the police, because I crashed my car. I haven't been in here in a while. A lot more room than I thought. Hmm. One of these things is not like the others. Da -da 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 -da. Alrighty then, now that that's taken care of, we go up here, not that, that button, this button, we go online, jobs, play job, I think I have one bookmarked, that's a bicycle race. Let's see, which one is it? There we go, cycle path. Now this is just a bicycle race solo, so maybe we'll do the time warp again? See, see it's nothing really fancy going on here. Confirm settings. Play with myself. It tries to load. Not the BMX. I have to usually do the Endurex. I like the yellow one, I think. Usually is the those are my pajamas. Kinda. So I don't know, do we wanna watch this? I think you guys have seen me do this before. Now this one I might actually milk for some time so I can get some money out. Yay! Yeah, time up again. And here we are down on the boardwalk with all the interesting people. Check out that loser! Go on, man. Yeah, I'm trying. Watch this. Yay! I think, why take the jump when you can just go like this? Hey, my love. Are we saving like a lot of time, man? Hello. 
Oh, this one I can count. Oh, it's raining. Nothing that always happens here. Yeah. Yeah, at least there's some technique to that in time. Yeah. Get it a little faster. Hooray! Oh, you know what? Here's an interesting. Well, this isn't a GTA, so I can't get off the bike. It'll just reset. Uh, I could have stolen that one and then continued on. Like on the scooter. Hooray! What a beautiful day for a bike ride! Now all I have to do is kill some time and end up with, you know, some more money. It looks like I'll get it. It's the standard, it's just like any other race. So five grand at four minutes and, what is it, eight grand at eight minutes or something like that. So it's not... If you're going to do a bunch of them and you do it at four minutes, then we'll do the four minute one. Whee! Yeah, let's see if we got the daily objective. And this should give us the 25 grand. Clickety clackety, clickety clackety. I'm soaked in the rain. Anyone else thinks that looks like the Optimus Prime from Transformers Armada? Especially the back. Not so much the front. That was more of, more of a phantom version. Maybe when I get mine, I'll paint it up. We'll see if we can make it look that way. Boom, boom, boom. Back in the Karuma. There we go. All objectives complete. And there's your bonus material. 